Welcome to section 3 using NoSQL databases. In this section, you will integrate the contact API with MongoDB. You will also learn how to use MongoDB Atlas Cloud Services rather than a local installation. We will first connect our API to a local MongoDB using the native database driver. Then we will connect to the managed database cloud services provided by MongoDB Atlas. Next, we will integrate the object document mapping library that is Mongoose, including modeling our database and testing. But first, let's start with MongoDB. MongoDB is the most well-known NoSQL database. It uses collections of documents inside the database instead of tables like SQL databases do. It is feature-rich, as you can see. As it is not a MongoDB course, I will not go further into explaining what it is and I encourage you to read their well-made documentation. So now, let's connect to MongoDB. First of all, you will need to install MongoDB on your operating system. Go to the MongoDB documentation and follow the steps to install MongoDB. Next, we will use Compass as a graphic user interface to see documents inside our database. Once all of this is installed, open a terminal and run the following command in order to create a data folder at the root level of your operating system. Don't forget to use sudo because all folders at the root level are necessarily with root permissions. Run the following command to start your MongoDB server and provide the database path slash data. And as you can see, our database is now listening on port 27017 on the local host. Next, go to your code editor, create a new file inside the config folder named db. Inside this file, we will create a new class named mongodao, dao which stands for data access object, will allow us to create a connection to our database. Be sure to export it inside your index.js file of the folder. So back into our database file, we will implement the class with a static method which will give us access to a shared connection rather than to have to initialize another connection each time we want to connect to our database. Then in the constructor we pass a URL and a database name. If the URL is undefined we use the default URI to connect to MongoDB databases. Then we pass database options, which will allow to not see deprecation warnings. Next, we return the execution of an async function that will connect us to our database. So here we use the connect method in order to establish a connection to the database and then we store this connection into our static field named shareDB and then we display a success method and we set the DB connection to the execution of the DB method of our Mongo client. And finally, we return our client. Otherwise, we display an error message. Then, we can define different methods in order to manipulate documents inside our database. For this, we call the DB connection of our instance. Then we specify which collection should be chosen. And then we apply different methods in order to manipulate the documents, like find one in order to find one document insert one in order to insert a document 
etc. I encourage you to read MongoDB documentation to know exactly what these methods do. Next, into your server config, go to the listen method. Inside it, you will need to instantiate a new MongoDAO with an empty string URL, which will default to the default MongoDB URI. Remember here, then pass the name of your database. So this will be the database in which our contacts are stored. If the connection is established, we will indicate the name of our collection. Then we can clean our collection if it already contains data using our custom CRUD method and pass it the collection name. Otherwise, we will create documents by using our fake contact generator using Faker.js. So now let's comment the delete documents and let's save. Then run your server. As you can see here, we are successfully connected to the database and the Node.js server is running. Next, open Compass. In the host name, enter localhost, which is the URI of our database, and the port 27017. Then click on Connect. As you can see here, we have access to our databases, so click on the Contacts database, and then on the Contacts collection. Here, you can see that our collection is empty. And now, if we reload, our contacts from Faker.js have been correctly inserted. Next, go to your code editor and make some changes to the error handler. In order to have a more comprehensive handling of errors, set the status to default to 500 in case this is a normal error without a status. Then inside your server config, in the error handling middleware, go back, set the default status code to 500 in case a normal error without a status code is caught in this error handling middleware. Next. Inside our contacts controller, you can retrieve the shared connection by importing MongoDAO, then use the static field shared DB in order to retrieve the connection to the database, and then specify which collection you want to use. Then you are able to use the different CRUD methods in order to find update and delete contacts. So the logic is similar to previously, but instead you first connect to the database and then specify the collection and use the methods on this collection in order to manipulate the documents inside the database. Feel free to look at the code on GitHub. Next, inside our groups controllers, so now let's go to this file. You can see there is similar logic. We first get our connection to the database, then retrieve the collection, and then we use the methods in order to manipulate the documents. So as you can see, pretty simple logic, as long as you know which MongoDB methods to use. Now let's go to Postman. And if you make a get request to slash contacts, you can see that we successfully receive our data. So now we have connected our API to the MongoDB database. You can get more information on MongoDB by going to this link.